Well, hello there, my little cranes. It's Yaya here with another episode of Storytime with Yaya and Papa Moon. Did you know that a whole bunch of cranes together is a dance of cranes? I saw a dance of cranes in the field out beside the house the other day. I thought that was neat, a dance of cranes. So today we're gonna to be reading out of the 20th Century Children's Book Treasury. The story we're gonna be reading today is on page 42. So if you have the book, get your book ready. And it's called The Snowy Day. And it's written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats, originally in 1962. That's a long time ago. Okay, so here we go. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked down at the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put a snowsuit on and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out, and he walked with his toes pointing in, like this, like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. So there's Peter. Here he is walking in the snow, and here he is making little tracks in the snow. They almost look like bunny tracks. It was a stick. It was a stick that was pointing out of the snow. And it, the stick was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough quite yet. So he made a smiling snowman, snowman, and then he made snow angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow, and he slid all the way down. Here's his snow, snowman, and here's his snow angels. Have you ever done that? Have you ever made snow angels in the snow? You just flop back in the snow and you move your arms and legs and it makes a snow angel. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. And he picked it and he packed it round and firm and he put the snowball in front of his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his house to get warm. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He was very sad. I bet the snowball melted. While he slept, he dreamt that the snow had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and even new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together in the deep, deep snow. There's him and his friend from across the hall going out into the deep, deep snow. That was a good story. I like Ezra Keats and his stories, even though they were written a long time ago. Well, I hope this winter you have found some snow to play in and maybe made some snow angels. Well, that's it for Yaya today. I love you so much and miss you so much. Mwah. To all my to all my grandbabies out there, Julia, Anna Lynn, Judah, Lily, Layla, and Gavin. Thank you. Love you. Mwah.